Hi, this is Matthew Ponte with Smart Media TV. We are here in Jacksonville, downtown, yet again, covering Buzz Magazine's sixth annual Craft and Import Beer Festival. We're going to go around, sample some of the beers, interview some of the patrons uh, and the vendors and sponsors, and kind of get, give you a feel of what goes on here, just in case if you miss it, you won't miss it the next time. So come on with us while we tour around and sample some yummy booze. Okay, so we are going to try and find uh, Mike White um, to interview him. He can tell us a little bit more about the event when Buzz Magazine and all this good stuff. So we decided we'd take a ride and uh, see if we can find him. Let's go. All right, so we are here with Mike White. He is the publisher of Buzz Magazine. And uh, oh, no problem. Thank you for having us. Um, so how long, tell us, I know this is your sixth annual event. Uh, tell us a little bit of the reason behind the craft and import beer festival, and and do you need a reason to drink beer? <laughs> oh, we, well, not we me. We started this uh, partnered with Champion Brands six years ago, and uh, partnered with Southside Business Fence Club and other charities. And our goal is to um, raise awareness for all the different types of beer. So we bring out over 45 different brewers, over 350 different types of samples of beer, and uh, just want to. Um, let everybody have an appreciation and be able to sample different types and really appreciate the, the craft beer industry and uh, another reason to have a great party and a great time. Absolutely. Yeah, you don't really need many excuses to have good beer. And what's your favorite type of beer? Uh, I'm more of an IPA, kind of like, like a light amber. And your favorite local brewery? Um, oh man, you got me. We've got new ones opening up. There's uh -huh. Veterans United Brewery uh, coming to town in about three weeks. Um, Jacksonville is really becoming a brew-centric city, and uh, we want to do more festivals like this. Um, we have an event called Jacktoberfest that we started last year that brought out 25,000 people, and our plan this year is to launch three new beer festivals that have uh, food, beer, or food and beer pairings and a lot of other great things. So at the same time, an event like this really brings more awareness and um kind of uh, publicizing our local brewers here in Jacksonville, is that correct? That's correct, um, and it also, it, uh, it really helps raise money for different charities like Southside Business Fence Club, and is another reason to show why Jacksonville is a great place to visit. We have a lot of tourists come in town, we partner with local hotels around here and visit Jacksonville, and uh, just another reason to showcase our city and showcase our breweries and uh, all the fun things we have to offer. Absolutely. Sounds great. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You for coming out. Have a wonderful time at the Beer Fest. Thank you. What is your favorite beer since you've been here? Blue Moon! Okay, Blue Moon. Angry Orchard. Are you angry? Are you angry? I'm Are you sure? <laughs> and yours? Uh, Blue Moon. Blue Moon? I like Blue Moon too. You like it with a, uh, with an orange slice? Yes. yes. Cool. Is this the first time you guys have been here at the festival? We are in first, our first time. I've been here a few times. Okay. And are you guys from Jacksonville? Yes. yes. Yeah. So what do you think about this uh, this festival? <laughs> we think it's amazing and Jacksonville should have it more often. We love it. Awesome. Well, you all have fun and enjoy enjoy your nuts. Yes, we will. Thank you. Uh, so tell me about what I'm about to drink here. Uh, Trevor, we're Bellsbury. We're based out of Michigan. This is our IPA to Harderdale. 7% alcohol, we use strictly Centennial hops. It's a really juicy IPA, it's very approachable. Um, a lot of people who don't like IPAs, they try this and they really gravitate towards it. This year we got number one IPA in the world on RayBeer.com. Awesome. I'm going to try this out. Enjoy, cheers. Oh, that is good. Yeah, smooth, it's good. Easy drinking beer. You can find our beer in Total Wines, Prouties, Beer 30, Grassroots, a lot of places that carry craft, you'll find it there. You can also find more information on uh, bellsbeer.com. Okay, bellsbeer and bellsbeer.com. Yep, awesome. Thank you, man. Hey, it's Julianne here, and I'm with Mark Wisdom, Jack's beer guy. If you don't know him as you should, he's going to tell you about his show. Well, I appear on a television show right here in Jacksonville on CW17 uh, called I Know Jacks. And we talk about uh, beer, 
fun things to do in Jacksonville and uh, just great activities here in the town. So you sound like you have the funnest job in Jacksonville. Uh, I, w I would say that I'm a very lucky guy, yeah. I mean, you know, everybody says that you're the beer guy. What's, what do you do? I'm like, well, I write about beer. Well, what's the hardest thing about your job? The research. <laughs> you ever run out of things to say about different beers? Not really. I mean, there's always something going on in the beer world, so it's a lot of fun. I always have a great time with it, and uh, it, there's always something new going on. So what are you doing here at the Craft and Import Beer Festival? Are you just tasting beers? Are you working? I mean, I guess you're working all the time because you're probably drinking all the time. Well, I'm doing research, as always. I mean, that means I have to taste beer. Um, I write for the magazine that sponsors this particular event, so it's sort of my party. We're having a good time. I'm going around talking to the people that I know, meeting new people, hearing some great stories. Met a gentleman a little while ago from Holland who who's lives in the United States now, but he was telling me about the beer he used to drink uh, when he was a young man in Holland. It was really a great, great thing to do. And, it, and one of the great things about beer is, is beer is uh, a very social beverage. and Everybody has a story or has a memory around drinking beer, around being with friends, about being with family, that kind of thing. And beer is just, it's sort of the social glue that holds everything together. And beer always gets those people that don't usually tell your stories to tell you their story, which is awesome. Well, that's very true. Uh, a lot of people will, uh, will say a lot of things that they maybe shouldn't, maybe shouldn't when they're drinking beer. I might have to leave Smart Media TV and go do some research with Mark here. What do you think? Ah, uh, we're always open for research, but we'll talk to the wife if it's okay if you join us. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mark. Oh, you're very welcome. Hey, I'm here with Joan Malandrino, and she is serving up red apple cider. Is that right? Yes, we are serving our Miller Coors Crisp Apple Cider, and it is a... We have a strawberry ale and a just regular apple, and the strawberry one tends to be a little bit sweeter than the regular apple ale, but um, they're both really good. Now, what is this one that nice Michelle over here is for? Oh, my mouth is so dry. Sorry. more drier, yes. That's more drier. Wow, that's really good. It's sweet. Um, I really. It's so it's a cider, right? Yes, they're cider. And I understand that all ciders are gluten-free. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Most of the time, yes, they are. Yeah. Maybe that's just what people tell me to start drinking more. <laughs> they will, um... They're very good. Full side, one or two, you won't even know it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Joan. Is this your favorite beverage? Yes, of course. Besides water, maybe. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, so we are here with uh, Publix uh, Aprons Cooking School, learning to have fun in the kitchen. And uh, introduce yourself. I'm Lionel. Tony. And Will. All right, and so you guys are obviously here at the festival. Um, tell me a little bit about what you have here sampling. It's a smoked ham and pimento cheese slider. Okay, smoked ham and pimento cheese slider. So I'm going to try it, and then um, you guys talk while I'm, I'm, I'm eating. And tell us a little bit about the cooking school and where people can get more information and whatnot. Yeah, you can do that. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Yeah, you, know. you got it. All right, I'll talk about it. Uh, we are at the Public Aprons Cooking School uh, Catering and Event Planning. We're at uh, San Jose Boulevard in Mandarin. We do classes six days a week, hands-on and demonstrations, wine pairings and beer pairings. Um, and we, we teach people how to uh, come and have fun in the kitchen and use the ingredients in the store. A lot of those ingredients that uh, you see on TV you want to know about, we teach you about them and how to use them and even how to identify the freshness of them. So that's 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 what we do. We have a good time. Awesome. Yeah, well, of course you like beer. Who doesn't like beer? Um, that was awesome. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. And um, uh, we'll see you around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cole. Colin. Okay. And um, you guys are associated with the... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I am my sports marketing agency uh, is part of CFM, which runs the Buzz Magazine, which runs this awesome event. Oh, well, that's awesome. See, it's a good thing you're here on camera. And uh, I just have a friend that works for Client Focus Media, also called CFM. And you like beer? I, and I like beer. Awesome. All right, so um, not this one in particular. But yeah, well, <laughs> you know, winners, you know.
Yeah, that all can be winners. You guys, win. you guys having a good time? Obviously, you're a little biased, but this is the sixth annual one, and uh, from what I understand, um, they had to limit the amount of tickets. Last year, I think it was like 4,500 people came. There was such a demand, and so what do you do when there's a great demand? You reduce the number that are available, and the demand goes way up, and the prices go up, and. And the point is, it was such a value and a bargain last year. This year, we're able to offer an even more, kind of a more intimate experience with this for people who really care about great beer. And Jacksonville's having such a great uh, craft beer explosion here in the last four or five years. And this is a great way to highlight that with a lot of local brewers and a lot of the national brewers and, and international brewers who kind of operate under the, the same uh, thought in terms of really making high quality beer. Awesome. Well, very good. It's a great event. And thank you for telling us that awesome information. Thank you. All right. What are your names? Chris. Bob. Nikki. Hollister. Emily. Tony. Ryan. Who wants to be the spokesperson? What? Yep. So because I'm in PR, I play my job. You're in PR. What does PR stand for? Give me something crazy. Uh, pubic. Wait, not that crazy. Uh, public relations. We want to get boring. Oh, fine. Tell us what you guys are doing with your mustaches and uh, beards. We are generously drinking all the beer available to us. And are you supporting someone with your mustaches? Yes. Our, um, this man here is about to be a father. And yes. his wife is at home, seven and a half months pregnant. Yes. Oh, you can see your husband have so much fun on Smart Media TV. Just check the YouTube channel and you're going to see him. We'll get a lot of B-roll of him having a lot of fun. How do you feel about this? I'm ready. You're ready? I can't wait to drink with my son. You know, I'm really excited. Uh, you know you're having a son? We, I am having a son. Uh, he should like beer uh, based on everything I know about him. So, uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Well, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a lot of fun and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so, we're here with Annie. Uh, she is the president of the Southside Businessmen's Club. Okay, and uh, we're obviously here at the uh, Craft and Import Beer Festival, uh, hosted by Buzz Magazine. So tell us a little bit about your organization and you know how you guys are involved with Buzz Magazine and the whole Im uh, Beer Im Import Festival. Sure, well we're an 82 year old business organization founded on the south side of Jacksonville and we've been very fortunate to be involved with the Beer Fest since its inception. Um, Client Focus Media and the Buzz Magazine has been very generous in allowing us to provide volunteers for tonight's event and in turn they make a, a donation to our club. So it's a great one day fundraiser for us. Expect to make forty five to fifty five hundred dollars. Ah, very good. Very good. And as a um, as an organization in whole, what does the Southside Businessmen's Club do like on a day to day basis? What is what are their goals or their vision or their mission statement, so to speak? Well, we do a lot of um, involvement in the community. We have a charity called our Youth Achiever Program. Uh, we help local fifth grade safety patrol students to fundraise for their trip to Washington, D.C. And then when they graduate from college, they're able to come back and apply for our college scholarship. Uh, we also do many events throughout the year, business networking events. We have a weekly luncheon Wednesdays at San Jose Country Club. So it's all about, you know, business, civic, um, and a charity all wrapped into one. Oh, that's great. Very good. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. Second shift, third shift, and he's going to tell you all about it. Nope, just a, I won't tell anybody. Tell us a little, little bit about third shift. Third shift is your, I like to call your introductory craft. It's something that, if you have a friend that doesn't like crafts and drinks your bud, your yingling, you tell them, craft's not that bad. Here, try a third shift. And a third shift is definitely something that gets somebody to go, oh, craft's not bad. It's not what I thought it was. I didn't think craft was bad to begin with, but this makes me think that it's really, really not bad. It's good. It's, it's super duper not bad. 
craft is wonderful, but you have those stubborn people, and if you want to get them away from the stubbornness, give them a third shift. So where can we find Third Shift in Jacksonville? Publix, Winn-Dixie, any grocery store local. It is almost everywhere, nationwide. And you have a website too? Absolutely, I would assume they have a website. You go to thirdshift.com. Thirdshift.com, you heard the man. Publix, Winn-Dixie, Ingles. Do they have Ingles here? I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. And brewed by Coors. Any other information that you can give us? So I got, have a great, wonderful time. That's awesome. Uh, so, this is Abita Beer? Abita Brewing Company out of Louisiana. And tell us a little bit about your flavors and about your beer. Well, we're the uh, oldest and largest craft brewery in the southeast. We're brewed in Abita Springs, Louisiana. We're there for the water source. Our water source is famous been for many years. We think it's the best water in the, in the brewery business. So that's why we're the breweries there. We're pouring four different beers tonight. Uh, first one I'm going to give to you is the Purple Haze. It's a raspberry wheat lager. All we do is we take a wheat beer, we filter the wheat proteins out, we take raspberry puree and we pour it in, we put it right in the beer after filtration to give a nice 4.2% raspberry wheat lager. So I'll pour you that now. You can see it pours actually a little bit of a purple tinge to it. That's actually the raspberry puree. So it gives a tinge of a purple, Pisne purple haze. This is our biggest, most popular beer in Florida. Here we're going to go to our most popular spring harvest series beer. It's a strawberry beer made with uh, fresh strawberries from Ponce Tule, Louisiana. Fantastic strawberry lager. I really hate my job. <laughs> You're drinking beer. This is who we are. This is the B.A. Amber. This is our first beer we brewed 27 years ago. It's still our most popular beer we brew. Uh, if you go to New Orleans, this is what you're gonna drink, a Bita Amber. It's a Munich style lager. It just means it's well balanced between the sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops. Just a well balanced Munich style lager. All right, last, last but definitely not least, this is Andy Gator. It's a Hellas Doppelbach, or Golden Double Bach. It's 8% alcohol, pours a golden lager color, and I think you'll agree, this thing is a, it drinks like a wonderful 5% beer. Wow, that's awesome. Everyone, very different, but has a great flavor. So tell um, our viewers where they can buy the beer and get more information on, on the web. Uh, on the web, we're abita.com, A-B-I-T-A.com. Uh, the beers are available quite often in places like uh, ABC, Total Wine, Publix carries them, Mellow Mushrooms, uh, a lot of those beers are on tap tonight. And go visit us in our brewery. We love to give tours in uh, abitasprings.com. Thank you very much. Keep All right. Thank you. Hey, we're here with Julia and Maddie from... Zeta. Zeta Brewing Company. And what are you guys serving up here at your booth? We have beer cheese soup right now with white cheddar popcorn on it. It's really good. Sounds terrific. It fits the part, doesn't it? Yes. Now, where are you guys located? We're located in Jack's Beach right off of 1st Avenue North and 2nd Street by Wells Fargo, Campeche Bay on the corner. Do you guys have like a lunch, just a lunch menu or do you lunch and dinner? We offer brunch on Saturdays and Sundays and then Monday through Friday we have a lunch and dinner menu and a late night menu. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're going to try it out because it looks really good. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about your drinking experience here at the beer. Well, nowadays it's um, the PG rated version only, so we're not going to go into too many details. We can do PG-13 on this show. Alright, well, I mean, I love good beer and this is the place for it in Jacksonville. Uh, also, shout out to my boys at Intuition. You know, I love the IPAs. Is that, is that all you have to say? I need some food, and the Spam and Velveeta cheese did not cut it tonight. <laughs> awesome, having a good time. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. All right, bro. All right, this is Matthew Ponte with Smart Media TV wrapping up another great event here in downtown Jacksonville at the arena with the Buzz Magazine 6th Annual Craft and Import Beer Festival. We had a really good time interviewing some of the patrons, some of the vendors and the sponsors and the people just enjoying and having a good time. And uh, if you missed it this year, then you really need to come back next year. Uh, stay tuned, check us out at YouTube at Smart Media Jax and check us out on Facebook at Smart Media Jax. And if you wanna send us an email and say, hey guys, we have this really cool event that you need to come and, and check it out. 
Well, then you need to shoot us an email and we'll email you back and say, okay, we'll do it. So this is Matthew Aponte with the whole team here at Smart Media TV wrapping out. Have a good day and chill.